about uh, maintenance and deployment of web apps? With software as a service applications, you sort of regular software, to, like the sort of old school, standard, slow, non-agile development strategy. Um, and the ag agile workflows help you do that. Um, for one, you can do small software updates. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for, say, something to be 100% complete. I think Google has that example. They just set everything in beta. <laughs> they always get constant feedback from clients. They always improve, always like, you log into your Gmail one day and it's changed. Like, oh yes, we did this cool new thing. Where critical bugs can be fixed immediately. You can, if something's affecting your clients, you can go, okay, well, let's fix it. Roll out the update, done. Really simple example. Say you have, your, you have a blog and your new feature is to add the ability to put comments on the blog posts. Well, your version one doesn't need to include the ability to comment on the blog posts. It can, it can just be a simple blog, post, post, post. It's not crucial for the blog to, uh, to allow commenting. That can be a version two. The whole talk was about, the whole idea that I was trying to convey is, if you're dealing with software as a service software, software as a service software, uh, it's a little bit different than working with, say like a desktop application, because if you make an application, or even, even a web application that you package and give to a client, because if you retain control of it, it runs on your servers and only your servers. It, uh, the only people working with it is your people. Then you, you're, free to, you're free to innovate at your own pace. And you should, it makes sense to try to turn that into a more of an agile system where you and your clients can have much of a closer relationship when you, so you can release features and have feedback and react on this feedback. And that's really difficult if you have very extended release cycles. So if you, if you say, okay, we're gonna release a new version every six months or one year, and that's gonna be version 2.0. This is version 1.0, one year from now it's gonna be version 2.0. It's going to have all this cool stuff. And we think that's going to be really good and that we think you're going to like it, but we're only going to find out in a year. <laughs> right? So version 2.0 is going to have you know, feature A, feature B, feature C, feature D. So why not take each one of these features and turn them into a mini version? Right? 1.1, 1.2, or you know, do away with the numbers, because numbers really don't make sense in a, in a SaaS software. Gmail isn't Gmail version 3.1. It's gone through a lot of different revisions. So, don't think big, think small. That's it. Thank you for coming out.